The Indian EV two-wheeler space is booming with record sales and that's courtesy the electric scooters. But on the flip side, motorcycles haven't been successful. Despite being present in different price points, different segments and different performances, electric motorcycles haven't made an impact. But Rapti thinks that it has found a solution with the T30. It gets a high voltage architecture, gets a CCS2 charger and comes at a competitive price point. So is the T30 the best electric motorcycle in the Indian market? Let's find out. So before I talk about performance, let's take some numbers out of the way. Power output 29.5 bhp, torque is 70 nm, 0 to 60 kph in 3.5 seconds, a top speed of 135 kph. So yes, the numbers are impressive. But the most impressive bit about this electric motorcycle is the volts. It uses a high voltage architecture of 240 volts, which is almost four times compared to the other electric two-wheelers in the market. Now, the advantage of this high voltage architecture is that the speeds, the high speeds can be sustained without the performance getting tapered off. The top speed in the highway, I was able to do speeds around 110, 120 kph and the motor's performance was consistent. Unlike some other electric two-wheelers where the fast mode can only be utilized for a certain amount of kilometers before the BMS kicks in and then you have to shift the mode. That's not the case with the Rapti T30. You can sustain those high speeds and I think that is the most impressive aspect of this motorcycle in terms of performance. Yes, the acceleration is quick, but it's the way the motor sustains those speeds. It doesn't get hotted up or heated up, which is the case with other electric two-wheelers. So that is very impressive. In terms of performance, there are three ride modes. Uh, the base mode is like an eco mode. It's capped at 50 kph, good for your city riding. But my favorite mode was the second ride mode, which is doing a cap speed of 100 kph. You can actually do your city speeds without much effort. But if you want to have proper fun, the sprint is the actual mode to have fun. It can do speeds above 130 kph. We managed to clock speeds above 130 kph. So in terms of performance, in terms of the throttle calibration also, it's superb. The throttle feels like an ice throttle. It doesn't feel like an EV throttle. There are no jerks. So in terms of, I think the performance, the Rapti T30 is very impressive and the high voltage architecture actually delivers. And talking about performance, another interesting aspect is that the Rapti T30 employs a bell drive. Most of the electric motorcycles in the Indian market, you go for a chain drive. So the chain has the advantage of better efficiency, but Rapti has opted for a bell drive because it is more silent and the material used on this uh, belt is a rubber and not a Kevlar which is used on other electric motorcycles. The other advantage of a belt drive is maintenance because the maintenance of this belt is low. You don't have to use any lubrication. Rapti says this belt can last for 40,000 kilometers and all you need to do is do a maintenance every 10,000 kilometers. The other advantage of the high voltage architecture is the low charging time compared to its rivals and the company claims it is almost four times quicker. There are three ways one can charge the T30. First is the home charger which is basically a cable that connects to a 15 amp socket. The bike comes with an onboard charger which means you can roll the portable charger and carry it in a backpack. Charging time is one hour for 20 to 80 percent. Since it has a CCS2 port, even if you don't have the portable charger, you can use any other car charger and charge the electric motorcycle, which makes the T30 very unique. The party trick, however, is that it can connect with any of the public chargers and you can fast charge the Rapti T30. This means you have access to over 30,000 public charging stations in the country and you can actually tour on this electric bike without worrying about range. With the DC fast charger, you can charge the bike in just 30 minutes from 20 to 80%. Talking about range, Rapti claims an IDC range of 200 km and a real world range of 150 km. Given the fast charging time and the fact that you have access to public chargers, the range is decent and riders wouldn't get much range anxiety. So let's check out the ergonomics of the Rapti T30. First up, the seat height. The seat height is pretty low by any electric two-wheeler or a conventional ice two-wheeler standard. It is low at 790 mm. As you can see, it has been scooped out, so it feels even lower. 
once you get on the motorcycle i am 5 feet 10 tall we are around 100 kg i can easily flat foot even the profile of the motorcycle is narrow and talking about the riding posture you get this nice tank pad over here and this nice cut on the so called fury tank so you sit your legs are very locked very perfectly the handlebar is like a typical ice handlebar naked handlebar short wide the foot peg position is center set so as you can see the riding posture is very upright and very comfortable like a typical naked motorcycle and i think that is a good thing because the rapti has a good range with the fast chargers you can actually tour on this motorcycle so in terms of the rider comfort it feels very nice uh, the weight of the motorcycle is 181 kg so yeah it does take a bit of an effort for you to push around the motorcycle but then again there is park assist which will help you in terms of parking the motorcycle so in terms of the ergonomics it's very comfortable and the park assist makes the parking of the motorcycle easy and the weight of the motorcycle is hidden in that the styling of the rapid p30 is very modern with a mix of curved and edgy lines the v-shaped led headlight is a nice touch and the body panels have a seamless flow which is kind of an ev trademark in profile, one can notice the mass forward design language, but the rear section feels a bit too small in comparison. The curvy swing arm and the scooped out seat does look good though. So while styling of the bike is distinct, it doesn't have the wow factor like the ultra wide F77. Also, the color options I feel are a bit too conservative and boring. There are two variants, the T30 and the T30S, with the only difference being a more cleaner tin section. However, rest of the styling is the same and so is the cost of the bike. All the features and the T30 gets a nice and big 7-inch TFT instrument console, which is touch sensitive. The screen layout is clean and all the necessary details are easily visible. Rackney have also developed their own maps and the navigation was on point. There is a cruise control switch, but the feature isn't available yet as the company is in the final stages of testing it out and says that customers who have got the bike without this feature will receive it via OTA updates in the future. The Rapti E30 employs a trellis frame with the battery pack being used as a stress member for added rigidity for the motorcycle and the frame. In terms of handling, I couldn't do fast corners because those were limited. I can comment on the agility of the motorcycle because we were riding this motorcycle through the traffic infested roads of Chennai. What impressed me the most is how nimble it feels, how sure-footed it feels when you're cutting through traffic. It doesn't feel its weight, although it is 180 odd kgs, you don't feel that weight. It feels like a 120-130cc ice motorcycle because even the throttle calibration is very nice. So when you're cutting through traffic, it feels very natural, it feels very exciting and easy to ride. So that's a good aspect. The second thing is the suspension. The front suspension is an upside down fork. Rear you get a monoshock. It is a Gabriel unit. The front suspension absorbed most of the bumps without any issue. The rear I felt was a bit on the firmer side. The tuning has scope for improvement. But what amplified the feeling of the rear suspension was the noise coming from the panels. The third noise kind of amplifies that sensation that the rear suspension is stiff, but that's not the case. It is a bit firm and it can be improved. The same aspect goes through the brakes also. It is one of the few electric motorcycle or electric two-wheelers to come with dual channel ABS. So kudos to Rapti for adding that safety aspect. The brakes, I felt the front brakes lacked a bit of bite and a feel. The rear brakes were working nicely. So there is scope for improvement in the braking hardware department also, especially at the front. So in terms of dynamics, I think Rapti has done a good job it feels natural, it feels like a typical ice motorcycle and I think that's the best compliment you can give to any electric two-wheeler. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the pricing of the Rapti T30 is competitive. The X showroom price for this motorcycle is to like 39,000 rupees. Now, unlike other electric two-wheelers out there where you have to pay extra for the onboard charger, extra for the packs, extra for the features, that's not the case with the T30. It comes standard with an onboard charger. All the features are accessible. You don't have to pay extra on the Rapti T30. So that price of 2,39,000 comes loaded with all the features, onboard charger and everything. 
So that's out of the way. The second aspect is the warranty of the motorcycle. Rapti is offering you eight years or 80,000 kilometer of warranty. Again, this warranty doesn't come at an extra cost. This is the standard warranty. And I think that is very impressive. That shows the trust the company has on the product. Now, in terms of availability, the motorcycle is only available in Chennai right now. There's one dealer in Chennai. They want to expand it to Bangalore by in the couple of next months. So in terms of availability, it is a bit restricted, but they want to do it in a phased manner, mostly focusing on the southern markets and slowly expanding to other markets. I think that's a good initiative because the production of the motorcycle also needs to be ramped up for the demand to be supplied. They have received around 8,000 bookings for this motorcycle from across the country. So there is some interest on this motorcycle. So that's the numbers. Now let's come back to the motorcycle. I think for a first attempt, the Rapti T30 is very, very impressive. That's not easy for any EV brand to achieve that. That is something that we have seen in the past. What is the most impressive bit for me is the high voltage architecture. It is the same technology that we have seen in cars. It also gets a CCS2 uh, charger, something that we have seen in cars. And I think those two things work very well because the high voltage architecture helps in performance, helps in reducing the charging time. The CCS2 charger means that you can access over 30,000 public chargers and get this motorcycle charge. And that also is a fast charging, like 20 to 80% in 36 minutes. So this motorcycle can actually tour because of the public charger infrastructure. Apart from that, the performance of the motorcycle is also impressive. It is quick in terms of acceleration, sustains high speeds very well. And in terms of styling, it's not that bad and comes loaded with features. So as a electric motorcycle, it is delivering on those ends. Yes, there are some rough edges in terms of the fit and finish, which is something the company sees that they will try to address in the production model. The suspension, the rear suspension especially could be slightly better. The brakes could be tuned better. But in terms of getting the basics, I think the company has got the basics right and other components can always be worked upon. So yes, it is a very impressive electric motorcycle. And with the charger infrastructure in the country, the charging anxiety, which is a big problem for most of the electric two-wheeler buyers, I think it kind of addresses that with this motorcycle. So I think it has the potential of becoming the best electric motorcycle in the country. However, I would like to reserve my final verdict when I get to ride the final production variant and ride it over much more kilometers, much more timeline for a assertive verdict. But as a first attempt, the Rapti T30 is very impressive and a good job by the company.